Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away. Look, today's t-shirt doesn't match this build at all, but uh, everything else is in the wash, unfortunately. And today, I'm going to be doing stage 16 of the Hachette Partworks release, a build, the Mark III Lancaster Bomber. Now there's not a lot to do in this one and I will show you this magazine first, but I thought what we'll do is we'll have a quick review of the build at the moment. I want to just talk about some of the features that we've actually got on here, which people have told me about, which I want to point out to you that if you are building it, you may want to take note of just to specifically how to not break things uh, and perhaps some things that you don't want to glue into place. Let me show you that now. First off, as you can see, I'm now in a position where I can put this on the stand. Now, the stand I got from Partwork Upgrades, obviously, it's all movable and you can put it into whatever position you want. It's easily going to be able to uh, take on the length of the Lancaster bomber here. So that's what I've actually got it on now. Now, this part here isn't actually on the aircraft at the moment, so I can take that off. But the way this is going to fit, this is kind of going to go on there. I'm not going to push it down. And then we've got these... Uh, fuselage panels here which are metal we'll have one going this side and we already put the windows in these if you remember last time and one will go this side kind of like that here so if I just put that in by hand it's giving you an idea of how that's going to look obviously it won't have any gaps but uh, that's that so let me just put that to one side the only other thing that we've got left is the uh, propeller or the first propeller I want to take this off and I just want to talk about this turtleneck section. Now, some people have been pointing out to me that underneath this, remember, we glued this in as part of the instructions. Underneath this, there should be a place for an LED light. And we know that because of this channel here looks like we've got a root cable system for that LED light. So I think there's a good chance that if it is <laughs> going to have a light in it, we might need to take this off. Now I glued this in, but guess what? I didn't use too much glue on that. So I can probably get the screwdriver in there. I mean, you can see it's wiggling at the moment and I could get this off of here should we need to change it. I recommend if you haven't done this stage yet, I wouldn't glue that in until we can see the electrics for it uh, to see if we are gonna put a light in it. It really does look like we are gonna put an LED light in there. The other tip that people have gave me is anything that comes off that's pointing off the fuselage there, like this piece here, don't put it on yet. Leave that on to the end. So because again, I only used a touch of glue for this, I have taken that off. I really don't want to break this. So uh, I've taken that off. That goes at the front, I believe, just here. Let me just show you. But uh, yeah, I don't really want to put that on yet uh, and risk breaking it. Uh, other than that, I think we're pretty much good to go. Now today we are just going to be putting some extra bits into these sections here. So uh, I will show you the magazine shortly. Now, if you do want to get this for yourself, put a link in the video description. There's also a QR code on the screen, but without further ado, let's get cracking. So this is stage 16, and here's all the parts here. We've got details for the middle floor section. Looks like we've got a rear spar cover, rear spar cover flanges, bunk back rest, flip jack cover, Tower turret ammunition box and a stay. So it's uh, just pieces that looks like we're just going to be slotting into place. And as you can see here, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So once all of these pieces are in, looking like that, it's going to look just like this here. And this is the rest of the magazine as well. Now in the next stage, we've got the rear fuselage floor panel, flare chute, uh, what's that? Recuperators, toilet and screws. Hard to read upside down. So that's what we got just there coming in stage 17. So let's open up all these little parts here. Look, no screws. It's all gonna be stuff that we're slotting in. And I'm guessing I'm gonna be gluing in. I don't know if the instructions tell us to do that. Let me just open all of these up. And the first thing I want is the rear spar cover looking like this. I've got two details to put on top here. So having it that way round, I am gonna put a tiny bit of glue on these. Quite simply, one that side. I do love using this brush on glue because you really don't have to put too much on to get it to hold. And should you get into a situation where we might need to break the glue because we didn't use much, it's not too hard to actually pull it off without hurting it. So make sure that goes all the way down like that and do the same on the other side.
and that's both of those in place there. I've then got the backrest for the bunk, which is gonna go into the slot here. Just doing a dry fit for that. I will glue this into place as well. It sort of sits at an angle in there like that. Bring over the aircraft. And this is basically gonna be going into two holes here. If you can see here, look, we've got three other holes which we're about to cover up, which is a bit strange, but this is just fitting on top here. So I'm gonna line that up, push that down. I don't know if I wanna glue that. I think I will glue that into place. Normally with these sort of hexagonal uh, holes, you don't really need to glue it, but that was far too loose for my liking there. So there we go, that's in place. I've then got another stay to put in, which looks like this. I've just put some glue at the bottom of this and I want the top section of this to be parallel with the back here. So this is just gonna go into the hole just here. You don't really have to worry about what way around it's going because it has got a D-shaped lug in there. So it can only go one way, like that. I'm gonna put some more glue just on these lugs around the edges here because I'm gonna be putting in the flap jack cover. This is actually quite symmetrical, but it's gonna go into the holes here. Push that down. When I'm pushing it, I'm not putting pressure on these. This is just to hold it. There we go. And then finally, at the back here, if I just move this down a bit, we've got space for two ammunition boxes. And once again, these are small and large lugs. So it sort of dictates what way around they go here. So one here. And then I'll do the same on this one. Make sure that clips into place and it's all the way down there. Now, if you see here, you probably would have noticed I've got some uh, an oil stain on here. I've got a little bit of isopropic alcohol on a rag here. And you will see how well that clears that up. See? Perfect. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So uh, when I'm storing this away, I do put this over the top very gently because I want to protect all the innards of the cockpit there. And something other people have mentioned, just talking about, you know, storing your model and keeping it nice and safe. Uh, I know some people have actually broken off some of these. These are really brittle. So wherever you store it, you want to keep them safe. I know because I've already broke one off. Luckily, when uh, the issue came out with these, I did keep some spares, so uh, I could replace that uh, quite easily. But uh, that is now in place. So that's all there is to do in that stage. But there you go, it's looking pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be much to do in the next few stages. When we start doing the mechanics and putting the propellers into the wings and putting the electrics in, we're gonna have a whole lot more to do. But I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.